Hey guys, so today I will help you with accusative prepositions. So where you can use use in a sentence to show time, location and place. As we have some preposition in English as well, similarly we use some accusative prepositions in a German language. So before that got buffet is a term to recognize or to remember the accusative preposition. Let's see how. G stand for gegen, O, Ohana, D, Dusch, B, Bus, Bis, U, Um, F, Führ, E, Entlang. So, let's learn in detail. So, G stands for gegen and gegen means against. Ich bin gegen junk food. I am against of junk food. So, in place of against, you have to use gegen. And because gegen is an accusative preposition, that's why we will always use the noun article always in accusative, which means we will use bestimmt and unbestimmt articles right of accusative next example is heute abend spielt alex badminton gegen max tonight alex plays badminton against max now next is around so gegen there are two meanings one is against and the other one is around when you are not sure for the time there is no exact timing so at that time you will use gegen right which means around also so their bus kommt gegen 19 uhr an the bus arrives around 7 pm you can also say er kommt gegen 7 uhr he comes around 7 o'clock now, my next preposition is O, which is Ohana, and Ohana means without. Ich backe einen Kuchen, Ohana, Eier. I bake a cake without eggs. Sie geht Ohana Mesh. She leaves without me, or she goes without me. So, in place of without, we will use Ohana, which is an accusative preposition. My next, my next preposition is D, which means durch. Durch means through. Their bus fared durch den tunnel. The bus drives through the tunnel. Next example is, er läuft durch den park. He runs through the park. Right. My next preposition is B, which is bis. And bis means till or until. Ich arbeite jeden Tag bis 19 Uhr. I work until 7 p.m. every day. Or you can also say bis Samstag bin ich im Urlaub. I am on vacation till Saturday. So for till or until you will always use bis preposition. My next is you which is um um at for exact timing you will use um er kommt um 9 uhr nach hause he comes home at 9 o'clock you can also say can't to um 15 uhr kommen can you come at 3 pm okay so there is one more meaning of um which means around for example wir sitzen um den Tisch. We sit around the table. So in this case, um means around, not at. My next preposition is F, which means fewer, and fewer means for. Max schreibt einen Brief für Lara. Max writes a letter for Lara. Next example is Hast du einen Kuli für mich? Do you have a pen for me? The last one is E entlang, which means along. We laufen den, den Fluss entlang. We walk along the 
river right guys so these are the some important preposition of accusative and there are, are only seven accusative preposition so learn them and try to use them in your sentences if you like my video then please like subscribe and share bis dan and cheers see you and bye